So an unexpected fan favorite of all of y'all out there in Facebook and YouTube land is actually watching some of my camping vlogs for the SCA. So this summer, I'm going to take you with me on my trip out to Battlemore, which is in Aguilar, Colorado. It's hosted by the Kingdom of the Outlets, of which I am a resident. Now, something to keep in mind if you do want to come out and join us is that this event is at altitude, so you will want to make sure that you're bringing lots of sunscreen and water. Burns can take place very quickly from the sun, and dehydration can often be a massive problem if you've never been at altitude before. But welcome to Battlemore. It's one of my favorite events that we have in the Society for Creative Anachronism. Just one last quick housekeeping thing. This vlog was not officially authorized. It's not officially sanctioned by anyone in the SCA. This is just my experience with some of my friends attending one of our favorite events. So if you want more information for your local group, I will link the worldwide website for the society down in the description. There's birdies! This close too, I'm surprised. Oh, look at Mama thinks we're safe in Hi YouTube from Battlemore. So I am here with my household and it's it's a lot more fun doing camping events with your friends, frankly. Um I loved last year when I went up to Uprising with my family, but I missed my peeps and I get to spend time with them this week. Today is my first full day on site where I'm not dealing with the mayhem of the outside world, so I'm excited to go and get to see everybody and just spend some quality time doing medieval things or ancient Roman things because the real world's kind of on fire this week. Um, some stuff we're going to do today, since I don't have meetings, um, we're going to go down to the Laurel's lunch where we're doing a and a with Laurel's like myself to just kind of chat with the populace, make sure y'all don't think we're scary. And I have some friends that need some help sewing for, um, a couple of elevations tonight. There's a few last minute things that need to be stitched together. And we're hanging out with my friend Lissa and the dog and a bunch of other people that if they are comfortable, I'll have them pop on and say hi. And if they're not, we might just get some B-roll that you get to hear lovely music over. So yeah, that is our game plan for the day. <laughs> And the sausage. And the sausage. That's right. no, it. Yeah, but no, uh, no bacon wrap. No bacon wrap. But some people try to do that. They try to increase the fat content. That's totally fine. Yay! Yay! Cause I'm gonna make people famous for their so, bullshit. Um, <laughs> I am Dragon Spine Spiral Anna's champion. And I set this up just to have some fun. Because who doesn't need more stuff? So, for everybody who comes, Came. I have gifts for everybody on the back table. My refreshments. You may take one and Rizzies. pass them on. We had a couple of really cool arts and science things before this. This is the largesse derby that one of my good friends was putting on to refill the coffers for our new king and queen as they start giving out presents as thank yous for people who are working so hard on events, their retinue, um, visiting royals to show gratitude for their trip, anything like that sort of stuff. Um, we try to do these a couple times a year to make sure that there's always stuff in the back for them to be able to give out, which is the concept of largesse, which is a big thing, at least within our kingdom, of being able to give small gifts, usually handmade, 
to people who have been doing good works or have impressed you. You're grateful for something that they're doing, that sort of thing. So this is kind of a drive to get some of that going. My scissors, I put my thread, and I just, and I really, really want more of them. Mm -hmm. Now the we had a couple of new food vendors in the area that I've really had to try. So this is a scotch egg from like a British pub style food truck that I grabbed while I was in between meetings and it was absolutely delicious. Um, I think they're usually at a different war, but scheduling just didn't work out this year. So now we get to have them. So thank you very much for the tasty food. You can lay out one in the in the morning, and then now I'm kind of like... You gonna say hi to YouTube? Do you love camping? Are you interested in all the other dogs? Yeah? Don't forget the Lissa. <laughs> oh, I'm, I really want to be able to get all the way to the end of this, but I'm also realizing I don't think that's going to happen because there's always waste. <laughs> Just from tensioning. All right, we're going to try it. <laughs> no. See how far down we can go. After I get this all leashed back up. I believe in you. Thank you. This has definitely been the fuck around and find out weaving project of the weekend. <laughs> all right. Think a bunch of these cards got twisted wrong. Cause I got lazy. Something. Mm -hmm. Are you being filmed? I am. Nice. And audio? Um, yes, but I can scrub the audio if there's something that is truly Isabel's inappropriate. Isabel's awesome! <laughs> I joke about this being a project that I've been wanting to do for years and just never have. I'm trying to do some card weaving for some very simple patterns for garters, and I'm liking how it's turning out. I also got to try my hand at a little night sky photography this weekend, and the skies and the stars are just amazing out there. But let's get ready for our next day at camp. Hey everybody, Lissa here, just hanging out at Isabel's camp with her dog Zoe. Zozo, <gasps> say hi to the YouTubes. Hi YouTubes. Duh, duh. We did make a little bit of time to go and shop with some of our vendors pretty late in the weekend. I saw this gorgeous rendition of the Bayou Tapestry sort of story and I got to meet this really cool visiting coin striker that made a commemorative coin based on some Anglo-Saxon finds. But as far as stuff that I purchased, it was more weaving stuff. Those dang garters got me started on a new micro hobby within my hobby. So I got some green and blue, a couple of orangey pinks, 
and I kind of want to make a tablet woven belt. We'll see how that goes. I also picked up more cards because I wasn't sure if I had enough to do some of the more crazy patterns I saw. In retrospect, um, they're not the same size as my other ones, so weaving with both sets is kind of hard. Something that was a little different this time around, at least in my experience, was we included a good chunk of our coronation ceremonies in with the general battle more festivities. This had been planned for a couple of weeks leading up to the event, and it was really great to see the whole community come together to support our new king and queen and to get everybody ready for the next six months and just celebrating the new hopes and everything that that can bring. So congratulations to everybody, especially if you got an award, were recognized, or you were just here to join us and be in community. So thank you. Court and the associated festivities went pretty late, but one of the beautiful things we got to take a look at was, again, this amazing night sky and just celebrate. So I hope that you maybe consider taking a trip out to an event like this or maybe something that's closer. You don't have to drive all the way out here to find some really great people. But thank you for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Did this right. I edit okay. the heck out of these. <laughs> Is it on now? It's on now. Test recording. Does this work? I actually did need it panned down. <laughs> cool, better.